Hey guys, welcome back to I'm Gizmo Geek. If you have the Blockpunk Kila Go 970 installed on your car, you must have noticed this app called Phone Link on the stereo. This app is a very useful one, which effectively mirrors your phone screen to the car stereo. Something like how Android Auto works in the car. One might think why would anyone need this feature? The reason being, the apps like Maps that are installed on the car stereo take a lot of time to load due to slow processing power and this can be very annoying if you are in a hurry. You can see how much time it's taking to load the maps here. So using this phone link feature, you can use your phone itself for navigation but on a larger screen, which obviously is one of the major reasons for upgrading the car stereo for many users. In this video, I will show you how to use this feature with any Android phone and what are the limitations. So let's get started. I will be using the OnePlus 3T to demonstrate the feature. The first step you need to do is connect the phone Bluetooth to the car stereo. This is required for audio to be transmitted from the car speakers during screen mirroring. So you can see here I have already connected the OnePlus 3T to the key Largo. Once you ensure that the Bluetooth is connected, open Bluetooth Music app. This is important because even though the car stereo is connected to the phone via Bluetooth, Unless the car stereo is in Bluetooth music mode, the audio from the phone won't be playing in the speakers. So here's the phone link app. This feature can be basically used in two ways. One is by USB which is the wired method and another is wireless by Wi-Fi hotspot. First let's try the wireless method. For the wireless method you need to turn on the mobile hotspot on the phone and connect it on the car stereo. I have turned it on my phone and connected the same on the car stereo too. This process of connecting the Bluetooth and hotspot takes time only the first time. And from the next time you don't have to do all this manually as they auto connect. Now that I have done the basics on the stereo, let's go back to the phone and install the app called Easy Connection from the Play Store. Once installed, open the app and select yes for all the permissions. As both the devices are already connected by hotspot, the app already identifies the stereo as car display. Click on yes. Next accept the disclaimer. Now open the phone link app on the key Largo. When you connect the phone for the first time via easy connect, it will ask this permission for accessibility service. Accept it and turn on the accessibility setting for EasyCon app. This is required for directly controlling the phone screen from the stereo. Now that's it. You can see the phone screen is already mirrored to the large screen. Let's test with the maps first. Once you open the maps on the phone, for getting it in the full screen you need to rotate it. So I generally rotate the phone in landscape so as to get the full screen and keep it in the holder. Now I can control the phone directly from here. Let me check with some random destination. You can see that the maps is quick and responsive as it's working directly from the phone's processing power. The audio comes from the car speaker and it's loud. The reason I don't recommend the wireless method is a slight delay. Let me show you. Here you can see the delay in the mirroring. It takes a second or so to reflect on the car stereo. So if you are driving with maps and you have to take quick turns, there is a chance that you might miss them due to this delay. Now that you have understood about the wireless method, let's go for the wired method, which is much better in terms of performance. For the wired method, you have to connect the phone to stereo via USB cable. The key Largo comes with a USB port that here you can see I have taken from the glow box. I will connect the OnePlus cable to connect the 3T with the stereo. Make sure to use the original phone cable for better performance. When you connect via wired method, this also charges the phone, which is an advantage to save your phone's battery as we have to keep the screen on. Once you unlock, it will ask for permission to open on connection. Click OK. 
Now just open the phone link app and you are good to go. You can see with the wired method that there's hardly any delay or lag with the mirroring. You can easily watch videos, play games, or even navigate easily with this. Recently, I went on a long drive. And just to test this app, I navigated totally with the phone link method and it's like having your phone on a large screen. The app worked really well with the whole journey. The only downside with the wired method is that while you place the holder here, there will be cable hanging around, which some might not be comfortable with. Also, another thing to note with the phone's link is that the phone screen need to be on. If you lock the phone, the stereo would go blank. So to conclude, the phone link is a great feature of the Gila Go to use your phone screen on the large screen. As many of the users are having trouble with the maps, this method will be useful especially when you have not much time to wait for the loading. Hope this tutorial is useful for you guys. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow me on social media. Let me know in the comments if you have any doubts. Bye and take care.